Hi, it's Simon. Tracking habits in a bullet journal is a great way to hold yourself to account, effectively work towards goals, and genuinely build the habits that stick. So in this video, I'll show you the system I use to do this every day in my Notion Life OS workspace, and give you a step-by-step -step guide to using my new habit tracker and daily journal system. For a few years, I kept my bullet journal in a paper planner, but Notion was the digital tool that finally convinced me to go digital with it, mostly because of how it integrates so brilliantly with a wider productivity system. The main benefit, I can make meaningful connections from my bullet journal to goals, creative output, knowledge that I've captured all in that Notion workspace. And if you're new here, this year I created the most comprehensive Notion second brain template I've ever made, Notion Life OS. It contains my favorite solutions to tracking habits and keeping a daily log and journal all in that same system. You can get the template and watch my full second brain tour via the description now if you want to, but let me show you right here how this automated daily tracker works. This is my LifeOS homepage, and we are going to start from here. I'm gonna take you through the process of logging habits in the system on both the tracker page and the main home screen. I'm then gonna to talk to you about the reporting views for them, so where you see the habits uh, progress come up. And finally, I'll share with you exactly how I set goals and link habits to those goals within my goal planner. So first of all, let's look at tracking habits. So I can do that with this little drop down button on the main menu, and it gives me a quick view of the key things. I can log habits by clicking the button, which will then check something off. That's simply one of these automated buttons that checks off the current day within the tracker. And my tracker works simply by generating a new day called at today, which I just put in at today into the title of the database template and I set it so that it's date when duplicated. That's how I've done that. And then I set that today to repeat every day on my current time zone. So every morning it will set up a new today list and build one. So if I jump to my report on my tracker page, you can see there's a week of listings that have been generated. Really cool. So I can rename these to whatever I want them to be and just log them off. There's also a cool reporting view here, which I think looks particularly good and it shows you the percentage of habits that you've done. These two buttons, journaling and I publish something in the full bundle system, publishing every time, you can just check it off, but every time I actually publish something in my creative OS, it also automatically checks that off, which I'm really proud of, in the same way that my journaling button does. So watch this, I'm gonna click journal. It's generated a new page in my journal database. I can select a new daily reflection. It'll open it up and I can follow my kind of prompted journaling setup for a morning and evening reflection, kind of work through it all, et cetera, et cetera. When that's completed, you'll also see it's linked it to today's view. So if I close this back up, it's also showing me that I've journaled and it's linked a completed journal entry into it. I also have a journal page where I can see all of my journal entries. There's the one we did today. This has all of these incredible pre-formatted stoic templates. I've got a video on that if you wanna see more about um, prompted stoic journaling. But for now, that is essentially a linked database to the tracker. I can also work within the page of the daily tracker to add things. So I can tick things off within this and I can also add workouts within this and say I did sit-ups. These are all within the fitness tracker. I'll show you more about that in a little bit. If I jump through to the tracker, this view also has a main tracker dashboard. First of all, there's quick links here to jump to the sections. So on mobile, that's really helpful. Now reporting on this. This system is made up of three databases. This is the daily tracker database. That is that database we talked about with the automated daily entry that gets put into it. Below that, I have a separate database, which is where we plan our habits, and it's called the Habit Planner. This is simply a view where I can set up the plan for a habit. So for example, in here, I can decide on the frequency I wanna do it, select the unit that I want it to happen over, once a week, once a month, etc., and it will calculate the number of times I need to do something. And it just gives me a visual reference to do that. 
Simple as that. It has within it a view of the habit tracker database where you can see what's been checked off and therefore kind of compare your progress. If we go back out to the main dashboard, you'll see I also have a year report. So there are three databases. There is the daily tracker database, which we are checking and logging habits off in by clicking the buttons. There is the planner, which shows me what my target for the year is. And then the years database is the final one, which has the roll-ups of the actual habits that you're checking off. So for example, if I log habit four up here, you'll see that that updates here. So the system is simply, we do the tracking in this database, we see the roll up of the report in the years database, and we can compare that to our target that we've set in the habit planner. We also have a fuller view of the habit tracking database down the bottom, which is the bullet journal, which just gives you a lovely kind of constant tracking view of what you've done, which I really like. I wanna say a massive thank you to the over 700 of you who have already downloaded this system. Uh, it's incredible. It's great to see you all on the Discord community and I hope you're really enjoying the template. So if you were to pick up this system, you can use the four existing templates that are ready to go. And you would simply do this. You would wanna edit this and call it what you wanted it to be. I'm gonna call it yoga. And you can change the icon if you want to. I can then go into here and rename the habit yoga. I can go into the weekly reports and rename it yoga. And in year reports, you could even do that here by clicking on the formula that reports it, which is habit one and call it in here yoga. You don't really need to worry about habit one total. It's a reference to the roll up of that, but there you go. And now we have yoga reporting, yoga planned, and a yoga button where we see it happen, which is great. So if I click yoga, we know it's working. So if I click through to the year report, there's even more detail in here. So we have all of the views of what you've done, the percentage that you've done of it. But then if we go further down, I also have the plan for the year that I can reference and I can even see the goals that are linked to this year and how well I'm doing with those. And down the bottom, we then have the filtered view of all of the daily tracker entries we've got for that year, which are linked to it. I'm gonna briefly show you fitness tracking in this system because I separated it from this basic checkbox system in the daily tracker. So if we click through to fitness, I can jump through to it here. The fitness tracker has a couple of different databases. There's the main daily tracker, which is where we log it. The way you log something is clicking into here and just adding it, pull ups, there you go, and it's added. It also links to the exercise database. This is where we set up exercises and I have templates to create them. You can pick a template and the reason it's useful to do that, so if we say like flexibility, I can create a new one, evening stretch, for example, and it's automatically linked it to a fitness area, which is really helpful. So here's the evening stretch. I can set that I want to do one 30 minute session. There you go. It's all set up, so we can use these to calculate it. And then there are reports within this system that will tell us how many we've done and how well we've done. So when I log it, let me show you, watch flexibility. I'm going to click into here and I'm gonna do an evening stretch. It's added. It says I last trained it and how many times it's been logged. So if we go back to the tracker, you'll also see the evening stretch has been added to the list. So simply when you wanna be logging workouts, once it's all set up in the fitness tracker, you can just do it here by clicking in and going, I did some lunges and you'll see them drop in and you'll see your progress reported. And what's really cool is if you click through the day, you'll see all the workouts you've done within there. And there's that daily reflection we did in the journal. And we can continue to add things by clicking here and so on and so forth. So now I'm gonna show you the exact process I would use if I started with this template to get my goals and habits set up. So on the goals and planner dashboard, we have a couple of views, first of all. We have this goals view. Now, if you see all of this stuff at the top, it may be that when you duplicate the template, you just need to choose to hide no year. And then you will see what it's meant to look like, which is the current year views there, which is nice. You can always move these things around so you don't have them next to each other. But here are some examples I've already got there. I have a year set up with some goals. And then these years will also, if I click into that year, will also have the habits that are related to it. Next to it, we have the year report for the current year we're on. 
So when you first got this, I would just edit everything that's already set up to be your own set of three goals and habits. So you could just go in to the goal, rename it, rename these, uncheck things, their examples, or you can just delete everything and start fresh. So this is how I would do it. I'm gonna close these report views, which is what we use through the year, and go to plan your year. Through the system, you'll find the relevant instructions along with images and GIFs that can help. But first of all, we're gonna review the year from the previous year if we want to, by clicking on the years that are there and uh, looking at any weekly review reflections that we've done in the journal. Um, what's cool about the journal is there are monthly and weekly review reflections that can be done. That's not relevant if you start fresh, you'd probably start here, clicking in and using the previous year to list your wins and your losses, lessons you've learned and linking them to the year. So that's a nice little process. From here, we're then going to start the new year. So when I click this button, it's gonna give me a, are you sure you wanna continue? It's gonna create a new year in the year database for me to edit. It's gonna generate a goal setting planning form below this, and it's gonna add three new goals with related milestones ready to edit in the system. I'm gonna click continue, and we're gonna set up a 2024 year. So here's a new year in the years database. I'm gonna call it 2024. There's nothing in there, so we know that these are all set, but you'll see that all the views are filtered by the current year, which is great based on the template. So it's all ready to go. And there are the new goals we set. So I could just edit those within this, but I'm gonna go back into the system. I'm gonna open the new toggle that's been generated below it, and I can do a recap, which 20% of your wins leverage the most impact, and which 20% of your losses have the most detrimental impact. So I can now reference what I've put in up here and fill that out. And then within this, I can essentially do a really simple set of answers within here. What are my new goals that I wanna do? So this one would be potentially make my health and fitness the thing that drives thing else, for example. And the milestones might be run a marathon by Q3 and so on and so forth. You would fill that out as a way of just thinking. And then you can action everything you've written into the system. Now you'll see we have three goals already set up for my new year. So I can just edit these, put in that first goal, copying it and dropping it in. I can then open these goals and I'll see my three milestones. So I have my milestones up here. And the other thing we can do is set a target date. We said Q3 of 2024. So that would be 1st of August is the target date for that. And I'm gonna set the target date for the end of the year by the end of 2024. And you would fill it out in that way until you've completed all of your goals. The other cool thing about the goals it's worth saying is there's a timeline view for milestones. So if I drop down that, if you've set dates, you will also see what's dependent on what and how you need to work through in order to hit those, which I think is really cool. There are within this ways to set up areas in my areas and resource database, set up projects in the project and task manager in this system. But we're going to focus on these, which is setting up your habits. So here we have the habits. Now, what we might wanna do simply with the habit planner is to set these habits to keep going. So we could either, you could open this up and simply add to it the year that you wanna add it to. And now that means that that habit is now also linked to this, and then we're tracking in the other database. However, what I might wanna do is simply duplicate my previous habit and move it up to there. And we can open it up, it's set for that and I can change the frequency. For example, I'm gonna to wanna to run this time four times a week, I've got a higher target. And then my targets are set. If you were coming fresh to the system, I would just purely suggest that what you did within this was, there's my yoga, you would just use what's here and edit them to be what you wanted to do like we did in the previous section. It's exactly the same view. So there's the goal up here. So on the habit, what I probably wanna do is also change this to link it to the goal that it relates to. And then we're all set to go. Let's say we've now set up our habits. We can jump back to the tracker. And in this view, you should now see in the planner 2024 targets. In the year report, we should see if we go to all years, we have a 2024 year with the goal set and we'll be able to then essentially check off habits. Now, the reason that I have separated where I plan habits with where I track them is that I don't need to edit the buttons or the system. I can simply look at my weekly targets for the year, look at my year and make those comparisons 
and this system just continues to work. So that was the thinking behind having a separate habit planner which is this, and reporting view in years, which is over here. Now, the final thing to say is if you are someone who downloads this template and wants to create extra habits beyond these four, I've got instructions within the system. So these are the instructions for what I've just shown you, how to set up your habits using the existing four templates. And there's a full guide, including GIFs that show exactly what we did within this. If you wanna create new habits within the Habit Planner and create more, there is a full guide to that as well, because it's a reasonably complex thing to build so that it's an easy thing to use. But the full system is here, where you would generate a new habit, set up the new checkbox, duplicate one of the existing buttons, and then add to the system, so you've got a new one. Create a new roll-up within the years database, where you can see the results created within it and the same with the report view that counts the number of habits that you've done. And finally, you would create a percentage day report uh, within it so that you have exactly what you need to show it all. So it's a little bit more involved to add new habits in this version, but I personally think good habits should probably be logged. You should probably only be trying to track a few of them and uh, you can kind of go further beyond that um, with using a task manager. Well, that just about does it for my 2023 Notion Habit Tracker Tour. If you'd like to learn more, though, about building a daily journaling practice inspired by the Stoics, watch my Notion journaling video from a while back. And don't forget to go to bettercreating.com to check out my full 2023 LifeOS Notion templates. At the time of filming this, you can get 50% off with my launch offer on the template using code LIFEOSLAUNCH. Don't forget to subscribe here, like the video. If you're still here, it goes a long way and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, bye.